In this video, let's look into the free resources for NVIDIA Generative AI examination preparation. The first topic is the fundamentals of machine learning and neural networks. The expectation is you need to have a solid foundational understanding about machine learning, the various basic algorithm, the intuition behind it, and the pre-processing activities that you would do on the data set, and the concept of neural network, which includes building the neural network, then the activation function, various architectures of neural network, and how each of them is differentiated depending on the types of data. Some of the key recommendations for you to learn this concept of founda founda foundations of machine learning and neural network would include the NVIDIA Deep Learning Institute. There are two courses I would recommend from the NVIDIA side. One is going through the deep learning documentation and the other one is called as the Deep Learning Institute's Generative AI course. And coming to the machine learning, I highly recommend you to check out the course from by Coursera on machine learning by Andrew NG. Coming to the practical deep learning, I highly recommend you to check out the free resources at Fast AI that would help you to prepare yourself and understand about these deep learning. To build a solid intuition about the neural network, I highly recommend you to check out the playlist by 3 Brown M team that would help you to gain the intuition of this neural network. See, this is the deep learning page that I was talking about where you can refer over here and this uh, using this link. So you can actually learn more about this deep learning and the foundation aspects of it and the role of NVIDIA in deep learning. Then, as I mentioned, you'll also have to refer to the generative AI self-paced course by NVIDIA that will give you a solid foundation understanding about this generative AI. And this is the course page of Supervised Machine Learning Regression and Classification by Andrew NG, where you can learn the foundations of machine learning. Coming to the practical deep learning. So this is the practical deep learning page for learning the deep learning in a hands-on manner. Now, as I mentioned already, you don't have to master in a coding perspective, but you need to have a solid foundation understanding about the deep learning to build the intuition of it. So it is essential that you refer to the videos. I highly recommend you to check out the videos of three blue, one brown. Those playlists are a very good playlist, especially if you want to build the intuition around this neural networks. Then there's also a site that I have mentioned, which is neural networks and deep learning. So all the links that I'm sharing you right here is also available as part of the uh, link uh, under this video description. Just follow with me so that I'll explain you the depth in which that you have to go. Okay, so this is the page which talks about neural networks and deep learning. So I highly recommend you to just go through at a very high level. The reason that I'm sharing you these resources because these resources are an important resources when you are doing the preparation for your examination. So if you are already familiar with these concepts, you can simply go through each and every video at a very high level and you'll be uh, like you'll be you'll be good. But if you are not, if you are very new to the machine learning and deep learning, I highly recommend you to go through in depth because you should be comfortable in explaining those concepts. If you are able to explain, then you will be comfortable in answering those questions too. OK, and to to get some more perspective about machine learning, there's also another free resource, which is a very good one. This is the crash course by Google developers dot com like developers.google.com where you can get the crash course on machine learning. Now, as I mentioned already, you also need to know about the various architectures of this deep learning neural network. And that is where the Stanford University's convolutional neural network for visual recognition comes into picture that would help you to master the concept of the convolutional neural network and how you can use it for the given data set. Okay, now, Moving on, the next topic that you would have is the prompt engineering. From the perspective of prompt engineering, there are some links that I have already shared. Now, prompt engineering is one of the important activity that we do it whenever we are working with large language models. So it's highly recommended that you understand the various components of prompt and the techniques that we have got whenever we are providing the prompt to our large language models. Here, 
have shared you the resources one is learn prompt engineering that is learnprompting.org and prompt engineering guide is github link that i have shared right here and there's also open ai cookbook and do follow the post in the reddit that has got some ton of information people have asked the questions over there and you get a clear perspective about the prompt engineering now once you have mentioned the prompt and the llm is generating the output so one thing that we generally take care is the alignment now to understand more about the alignment so i have mentioned two important links that i highly recommend you to refer one is alignmentforum.org that will give you a clear idea about what is this alignment and the challenges that you would come across whenever you are performing the alignment and open ai alignment team you can also check out the link which is the open ai alignment team and there are some good blogs in the nvidia site too i highly recommend you to check out those as well now coming to the data analysis and visualization so there are tons of free resources that are there in this topic of data analysis and visualization remember you are not expected to create the visualization you are just required to know what each of these plot type would mean so that's the essential preparation that you have to do for the examination so one is the kaggle learn you can go to the kaggle.com/learn and you can get the courses which are related to the data analysis and visualization the key idea is kind of data which plot is you so if you are able to describe it i would say you are good from this topic of data analysis and visualization then coming to the experimentation so here so there are two ways that we can monitor it one is the experimentation is with tensor board just learn at a very high level you are not required to master the tensor board or in any case okay you just have to know what does the experimentation would be and also the machine learning experiment tracking platform that is wandb.ai site so that is something that you can refer to now apart from that the other resources that i would recommend is y labs so which is the llm monitoring platform to ref refer those site they have got tons of documentation which talks about what are the ways in which that we can monitor the experimentation of the large language model that will help you to build a solid understanding of this experimentation topic then data pre processing and feature engineering so here the expectation is what are the various kinds of feature engineering or the data pre processing that we would do depending on type of data so you have to be aware of both structured as well as unstructured data which means you should be comfortable in the pre processing and the feature engineering steps for the tabular data as well as the text data you can also refer to the hugging face page to learn more about the data pre processing and the feature engineering steps for the natural language processing data and for the experiment design so you can definitely check out the page of papers with code that will help you to get a more idea about the experiment design of these large language models for the software development you will not be tested specifically about the software development itself but what i would recommend is just understand uh, what is the concept of tracking and how you can extend that concept of tracking to the large language models and the llm training you can also refer to the pages of ylogs to learn more about the software development aspect as well as the tracking of such experiments when we are working with large language models then coming to the python libraries for llms do check out some official documentation page of transformers and langchain now i'm repeating here again you don't require the technical details of each of these library just have to know the important capabilities that are present over there to give you an example like you need to have an idea about what exactly the rag architecture would mean in the context of large language models so that's the kind of level that you are expected in the examination coming to the llm integration and deployment so you can definitely look into some uh, idea about the hugging face inference endpoint as well as the open ai api so that will give you an intuitive understanding about how you can go ahead and perform the activity of llm integration and deployment and i would recommend you to refer this video along with the other video that i had described earlier so use this video in combination with the other video that we have described earlier that is the last minute nvidia generative ai llm examination preparation because 
Tokyo. In the earlier video, I've talked about how you can score in an easier manner, like how you can score maximum points with minimum preparation. Now, this video is more towards describing depth about how you can enhance the knowledge. So if you want to first ensure that you get the maximum amount of marks, so I highly recommend you to check out the tips that I have mentioned in the other video. too. All right, guys. So with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope you liked the resources that we have shared now if you have any other suggestions if you think that i've missed out do let us know in the comment section we'll ensure to add it in the future videos and if you're someone who is confused and not sure as how to get started in this learning journey so you can definitely look into all these amazing resources that we have shared and you can also check out the courses from manifold ai learning so uh, let me just take you to the course page of manifold ai learning so there's a NVIDIA certified associate generative AI LLMs. There's a video course which could help you a single place to get all the resources for your generative AI examination preparation. There's also the practice test to help you practice for your examination and revise the concepts in an effective way. Now, if you have someone who is serious about generative AI and wants to ensure that you are able to stay in line with the upcoming developments that are happening in generative AI, do check out the package of Manifold AI Learning, which is Mastering the Generative AI in 2024. Now, this is a package that will help you to get the access of all the courses of Manifold AI Learning in the realm of Generative AI. And not just that, even any new launches that would happen in the Generative AI from Manifold AI Learning for the courses of NVIDIA, let's say the other courses in Generative AI from NVIDIA. So you'll get those access for free. So think of it as a one-time investment for your overall learning journey. So I hope you enjoyed the learning in this video. So do let me know in the comment section if you have got any queries. I'm happy to answer. I'll see you next time.